Hi and welcome to the 2000 King Island Race Weather Briefing. My name is Simon Dryden. Uh, I'm looking toward to the King Island Race. I haven't been there for a few years so I'm going to be out there on the water with you so I'm just going to give you a little bit of an uh, indication of what we're expecting. As we can see from the chart here we're in a nice very big broad spectrum of high pressure system. So this would sort of generally give you the idea that there's not going to be a lot of wind, but I think um, overall, depending on how the isobars go, but broadly, if you look at it, we're going to be in an easterly flow. So there might be a few changes, but broadly an easterly flow. So if we go and have a look at, uh, and I, what I'll do is I'll just mark up the sort of center of this high and give you a good idea of how quickly they're moving. So if we go and look on Saturday at 11 o'clock, you'll see that that center of the high has moved away fairly quickly. So we should get some wind here. And if we look toward, towards midday, there's a few interesting things that are happening in that a little low is forming over Tasmania. And then we've got this other little low and cloud area forming here. So if we look at the progression, then we'll see on Sunday, fortunately, that low is moving away and we've got the signs of a little front that's going to come through on Sunday which should give us a nice speedy reach ride home and if we look towards Monday we can still see we're still in the southerly southeasterly flow so getting home is not going to be a problem. All right let's go and have a look at the models and so we'll just get rid of it. Looking at the predict wind models, um, you're going to show you the EMCF or the European model one first as it's probably the most optimistic with wind. But if we play that model for you, you can see in east to southeasterly flow here and the winds start, you know, still seven, eight knots and then starting to pick up to 10, 11 knots and this little patch of easterly starting to increase. So you can see the boats are all pretty equal, not much deviation from the run line. And the boats uh, enter this little light patch as they get into uh, King Island. But if you see the first ones in there, two o'clock they reckon, and then the next ones are pretty much all by five o'clock. And this wind starts to strengthen and starts to fill in. So for the boats that are smaller than 40 foot, this could help them as they go along down towards King Island. So overall, if you look at that, it's um, and if we just go and look at the tables and we go to the summary, you can see that um, all of the models are suggesting that there's a finish before sunset for a 40 footer. Um, and if you look at the average maximum wind speed, nothing over 12 or 14 knots. And uh, fortunately for some boats will like this, others won't. But reaching and downwind across the models are pretty much the norm. And if you look at the waves is that there is not much wave, so the water is pretty flat. Okay, if we go and have a look at Metai for the corresponding period, this is showing us Metai at start time. So if we look at the heads there, there's Point Lonsdale where we're going to go through. And at 2300, it's still showing 10 to 15 knots in this blue shaded area. And so if, as we go along Saturday, that uh, wind stays in and we can see slightly more wind as we go along here. And then the wind starts to fill out according to this particular model. And as we go down the coast, we can see that if we look at the model, there's good, you know, east to southeast wind there and uh, it's still showing some model and a bit of lightning off but as it goes through the afternoon filling in alongside King Island and for the boats that finish later on as Predict Wind said you can see the models and the wind freeze at uh, 11 o'clock and if we look for the homeward journey um, we can see that uh, early on uh, Sunday morning we've got northerly so um, if you look by 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock, the wind's gone round to a uh, to a westerly. So good time to have some breakfast in at the club and maybe leave lunchtime or a bit afterwards. And as you can see from these models, um, the wind um, stays from the west 
and as you get closer to the heads it's going to lighten off so looking like a, a good good ride home so overall if you think about it uh, we've got a great fleet we've got uh, looking like nice wind going to be nice and flat and warm for the journey down and uh, when we've had our fill of steak sandwiches and beer courtesy of the King Island Bike Club um, it'll be a fantastic ride home so all of you competitors out there hope you enjoy the race and uh, all those at home don't forget to watch the tracker and uh, we'll keep you updated as we go along thanks <laughs>